More news coming in. Highways as one way for Indian Air Force jets. Su Surtees hawks row down on roads. Emergency road landing prowess is being looked at. Four kilometer long landing facility on National Highway number 16. This is a massive boost for wartime exigencies and this is being done as we speak. This is an operation which is being done in Andhra Pradesh as we speak in the Indian Air Force Highway landing for wartime exigencies to assess their preparedness for kilometer long landing facility on National Highway number 16. Hawks have rode are roaring down on roads and this is an operation that has been done to test the prowess during during exigencies essentially. Emergency road landing prowess being tested. We see on your screens right now is this exigency test that is being done on National Highway number 16 in Bapatla in Andhra Pradesh. Highways as one way for the Indian Air Force jets. So 30s and hawks are roaring down on roads and what really is being tested right here is wartime. Possible wartime exigency is undoubtedly a massive boost. What it appears a successful operation of Su 30s and Hawks landing essentially on National Highway number 16. Massive boost for wartime exigencies. Highways as possible runways during the time of exigency that is being tested right here. The operation is currently underway on your screens right now. Shivaroon, in fact, my colleague is getting asked more details on that. This is an exercise to check out the prowess of the Indian Air Force as far as exigencies during possible wartime is concerned. Shiv? That's right, Sneha. This is part of a, a, a larger exercise uh, by the Indian Air Force and the National Highways Authority uh, to convert uh, you know, uh, expensively made highways, which are basically, uh, you know, like runways anyway, uh, to use them as possible emergency airfields uh, during a conflict. Uh, it's possible that during, uh, you know, in, in the unlikely event of an all-out war, uh, the enemy usually does try and target airports and uh, air bases, etc. So uh, uh, if, you, if you need to use air power, you need to have uh, flexibility in terms of where you can land your aircraft, refuel them, maintain them, etc. Uh, and that's the reason why uh, some years ago it was decided that converting these, uh, these uh, highways, which are built uh, to the kind of quality that can you know, receive aircraft, uh, to convert them into emergency runways uh, in, in exigencies, mm -hmm. in emergencies, uh, in conflict scenarios. Uh, these have happened in Agra. These have happened in uh, parts of uh, uh, parts of Bihar. They've happened in the Northeast. Uh, so there's a there's a huge national map plan to convert many many different stretches of highway into you know flexible landing grounds. And that's what this has demonstrated. This one is in Andhra in the Barpetla district, uh, and we've seen all manner of aircraft actually uh, landing, not just AM32 transport aircraft, uh, but also uh, 230 fighters, Hawk trainers. Uh, and all manner of uh, aviation assets uh, being put to the test uh, over here. So this is a very, very uh, important part of how the Air Force is creating that level of flexibility in case of a, uh, you know, a scenario where it needs to be able to use such assets to land their aircraft. Well, absolutely. And I think this also speaks volumes of the kind of synergy that can be expected between uh, you know, civil agencies and the Indian Air Force, isn't it, Shiv? Very true. This is a fa fabulous example of synergy between the Air Force uh, and the National Highways Authority. Uh, there's already been a great deal of synergy. And, and Neha, one must remember uh, that this synergy is actually born from, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, from requirement. Uh, remember that budgets are shrinking. You know, the Ministry of Defense budgets have always been shrinking. And therefore, uh, you know, money uh, left to create new air bases or refurbish old air bases uh, you know, runs, runs thin. And therefore, to be able to optimize your existing assets uh, is, a, is, a, is a very good way of uh, stretching your budget to meet your uh, aviation requirements. Uh, there are other countries which have done this, mm -hmm. notably, uh, you know, countries like the United States, Sweden, Australia, where they've converted, uh, you know, stretches of their existing highways uh, to, to, you know, to become airfields in times of conflict or war. So uh, this is not a new idea, but India has been able to, uh, uh, you know, optimize its uh, budgets to actually uh, give the Air Force what it actually requires. So it's actually fantastic. Mm -hmm.
All right. Also, just speaks volumes of uh, the flexibility which would be required during an, an exigency. I'm going to thank you, Shiv, for getting us those details, even as we stated these beautiful pictures of that successful operation that has been carried out by the Indian Air Force.